Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime with Anna Christina. Today's story is Billy Joins the Circus. Are you ready to sing and dance along? Billy the monkey always wanted to join the circus. But his parents were never happy about the idea. They wanted him to be the kind of monkey that just hung around and collected bananas and helped at home. But Billy had big dreams. One day, Billy heard that a circus was passing through his forest. He was so excited and he decided that he would try to meet the ringmaster. It wasn't difficult. Billy saw him immediately. The ringmaster was a very tall gorilla who wore a black top hat and a red tailcoat. Excuse me, Mr. Ringmaster. Please, please, can I join your circus? Said Billy. <coughs> Who are you? Replied the ringmaster. I am Billy the monkey, and I really would love to join your circus. Well, what can you do? I, I, I can do things. Let me show you. I can stamp my feet. Uh-huh. I can clap my hands. Spin around. Nice. I can jump up and down. Oh, yes, yes. But can you touch your toes? Yes, I can. Can you wiggle your nose? Yes, I can. Can you wave your hands up in the air and wave them all around like you just don't care? Yes, I can. <laughs> Not bad, little monkey. Not bad. Along came Polly, the circus flying dolly. Who's this ringmaster? She inquired. This is Billy, and he wants to join our circus. What can you do? I, I, I can do things. Let me show you. I can stamp my feet. Ooh. I can clap my hands. Jump up and down. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. But can you touch your toes? Yes, I can. Can you wriggle your nose? Yes, I can. Can you wave your hands up in the air? And wave them all around like you just don't care. Yes, I can. The Circus Flying Dolly. Wow! Nice to meet you, Polly. So, can I join your circus? Hmm. The ringmaster thought about it. Yes. I believe there's a place for you in the Dancing Clouds Act. Yahoo! Oh, thank you, ringmaster. You won't be sorry. Billy couldn't believe it. His life he dreamed of joining a circus and now he was it was amazing Billy was so happy his dream had finally come true we, we can stamp, stamp our feet <laughs> we, we can clap, clap our hands, hands. Yeah. we, we can, can spin around, around. We can jump up and down. <laughs> yeah! We can touch our toes. Yes, we can. We can wriggle our nose. Yes, we can. 
we can wave our hands up in the air And wave them all around that we just don't care Yes we can Yes we can Are you ready for the Billy Joins the Circus listening and visual game? Have you got your listening ears turned on? <laughs> Great, let's get started. There are many sounds in my music audio story, Billy Joins the Circus, but did you hear the sound of the forest? Did you hear the birds? Let's listen again. Do you know what this sound is? It's the sound of a monkey, Billy the monkey. And do you know what this sound is? It's the sound of a gorilla. In my story, the gorilla is the ringmaster. He has a black top hat and a red tailcoat, like this. This is the sound of Billy clapping his hands together as he sings his song. Now let's listen to some sounds in the music. This is the sound of the cello. The cello is playing staccato. Staccato means to play notes sharply. In my music audio story, Billy Joins the Circus, the cellos also play like this. This is how the cellos sound when they are being plucked. Do you know what this instrument is? It's the sound of the oboe. And listen to this. That is the sound of a cymbal. When I composed the music for Billy Joins the Circus, I added lots of trumpet sounds. They sound like this. One can never have enough trumpets. Are you ready for my second activity? I'm going to teach you some fun facts about the circus. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. In my music audio story, Billy Joins the Circus, you met a monkey called Billy and he wanted to join the circus. Did you know that the first circus in London was in 1768? That's a long time ago. A man called Philip Astley was the first person to bring all the elements of the circus together. So what are these elements? Well, most circuses have a ringmaster. My ringmaster is a gorilla because my stories are based in an animal kingdom. What does the ringmaster do? The ringmaster introduces the circus acts and guides the audience through the show. They direct where we have to look. Sometimes they use a microphone to make their voices loud so we can hear them. 
Circuses usually perform in a circus ring. That's why they're called the ringmaster. What do ringmasters wear? The ringmaster usually wears a black top hat and a red tailcoat. So, who performs in the circus? Clowns! There are all sorts of clowns. Dancing clowns, clowns who juggle, and all sorts of exciting performers like acrobats and trapeze acts, musicians, and in my circus, I have a dolly called Polly. Now, there are two types of circuses. There are circuses that perform in a theatre, but there's another type of circus and they travel around and they perform in a huge tent. Do you know what this huge tent is called? It's called the Big Top. Are you ready? for my third activity. Have you got your paper and colours ready? You can colour in my principle of Billy the Monkey. Ask a grown-up to download it for you from my shop at musicaudiostories.com. Today, we are going to create our own drawing. Do you remember in my last video, I told you that travelling circuses perform in a huge tent called a big top? Well, that's what we're going to draw today. In my music audio story, Billy Joins the Circus, Billy dreams of joining a circus. Let's draw him a big top. Let's begin by drawing a rectangle. Our big top needs a roof to keep the rain out. Draw a dot above the rectangle in the middle. Then connect it to each corner like this. Excellent! But wait! We can't get into our big top. We need a door. Let's draw one. We also need some stripes. Now we need to colour in our big top. In my picture book, my big top is red and yellow. You can choose any colour you like, but I'm going to choose red. Start to colour in between your stripes like this.
Let's choose another colour. I'm going to choose yellow. Add more colour in between your stripes. Now we need some grass. Let's choose green for the grass. And we need a nice blue sky. Let's choose blue. I'm going to draw some puffy clouds. Ah. Uh, I love drawing. There's a lot more that you can draw. For now, I'm happy with my drawing, but I'd love to see your drawing. Ask a grown-up to post your drawing online using hashtag music audio stories so we can all see your drawing. I'd like to introduce you to the characters in Billy Joins the Circus. Meet Billy the Monkey. Billy wants to join the circus. But his parents are not happy about the idea. One day, Billy hears that a circus is passing through his forest. He meets the ringmaster. And Polly, the circus flying dolly. and sings a cheerful song that impresses them. The ringmaster decides that Billy is perfect for the Dancing Clowns Act. Yahoo! <laughs> Billy was so happy. Dreams can come true. I hope you have enjoyed my Billy Joins the Circus video series. Let's recap on some of the things you have learned. First, you learned about Billy and how he joined the circus in my music audio story, Billy Joins the Circus. In my first activity, you listened to sound effects and music parts from the story. And learned about instruments. 
In my second activity, you learned some fun facts about the circus. In my third activity, we created a big top drawing and learned about colours. Then you met Billy and his friends. Yahoo! What fun we've had! You can get the Billy Joins the Circus music audio story, picture book and activities at musicaudiostories.com Don't forget to ask a grown-up to post your drawing online using hashtag music audio stories on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook. Your artwork will be part of the Music Audio Stories creative world! I hope you have enjoyed my Billy Joins the Circus video series and I'll see you on the next Storytime with Anna Christina. Bye!